All we want you to do here at the studio is just put a name to it. Can you do it? Well, we will see come nine o'clock, won't we? And there should be loads and loads of you tonight because it is easy. I promised Rob the Dormel, Sam Barry Steve, that we're going to make it nice and easy for you tonight. Because a couple of weeks ago was a bit of a stinker, wasn't it, guys? Barabi Steve, who's been on the phone, is relaying the message from tonight's 80s icon from his wife, Barabi Sarah. I think the best thing I can do, dear, if, is to go through the list with you. And guess what? She knows who it is. So she's joined Daisy Duke, Wendy and Liz, four ladies. And guess what? We have got a man well done, Rob the Dormouse. He's got it correct. I think the best thing I can do, dear, if, is to go through the list with you. And he's been dreaming about me. He normally has a little nap before the show, you see, so he doesn't fall asleep with my boring, with my boring rabbiting on. Anyway, he had a little sleep beforehand and he had a little dream about me and I'm not going to go any further into it than that okay because <laughs> no it wasn't one of those type of dreams thank you well it wasn't was it Rob it better not have been anyway you naughty boy <laughs> we'll get back to requests now okay now two weeks ago Barrowby Steve he said to me could you play a song from the Bluebells I said of course we can he said could you play a song called Kath I said no we can't because we don't have it <laughs> Hey, Marcus does like that one. I can't say I remember it myself. It is the Bluebells and Kath, the 1984 remix. And it's for Barabi Steve. Yes, Barabi Steve was telling me that uh, when they had that 16 centimetres of snow in the year of 1985 and the lorry went to Beaver Castle with all the artificial snow, well, he was telling me that they used extras from the King School, can you believe that, for the film Young Sherlock Holmes. I said, Steve, did they use you? He said, no, unfortunately not. I said, why not? He said, possibly because I was down the snooker hall or the beehive at the time. <laughs> That boy had an education. That's why he's ended up listening to this show 30 years later. Hey, the same as Rob the Dormouse. This is for you, my old mate. It's Eighth Wonder, and I'm not scared. <laughs> That's who it was then. Tonight's subject on Top of the Flops was Talk Talk. August 1984, number 74 for Dum Dum Girl. And obviously they're their best ever seller. Today, reaching number 14 in July of 1982. So that's who it was, Talk Talk. So well done to Rob the Dormouse. If you got it right, well done to everyone out there. In fact, all I'd like to say is cheers. Taking your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Okay then, on to the answer to what's behind the studio door. I have one door. I have two doors. I have a lid. I'm cold inside. So, let's go through the answers we had tonight. We had, the first answer came through, is it a dormouse? Studio door, will you open? Mmm, not on that one. Then we had an answer come through. Shed. Studio door. Are you going to open? Not on that one. Then we had another guest come in and that said, Car. Studio door. Will you open? Not on that one. Then we had another guest come in saying, Wardrobe. Studio door. Are you going to open? Sorry, not on that one. Then we had another one come come in and said, is it car boot? So, studio door, will you open on that one? Oh, we're not doing very well tonight, are we? Okay, then, wait, then we had another one come in from Robert Ormouse. He said, refrigerator. Then we had another one come in immediately after from Gemma. She said, fridge freezer. Let's find out. Studio door, will you open? There we go, studio door open for refrigerator and fridge freezer. Well done to Rob Dormouse and Jammo. We'll have another one next week, of course. Okay, studio door, you can be quiet now. Put some oil on those hinges, will you? Okay, then, another one next week from 11 o'clock. <laughs>